Grand Rising Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, all right, I'm going to say my prayer. Remember, uh, family, take what resonate and leave the rest for others. Thank you all so much uh, that are new. Welcome to the family. Those of you returning, welcome back. And thank you to everyone uh, that has contributed to the growth of our community by liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting below. Um, thank you to everyone that has donated uh, to the channel, donated decks, as well as has scheduled personal readings with me. The information to that will be in the description box below on my website. All right, let's go family. Let me go ahead and, and uh, say my prayer and we're going to get started. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guys. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, let's go. Um, this is for Aries. What's going on with Aries love life? What message and guidance do you have for Aries when it comes to love? Message for Aries. What is the energy for Aries? I hold a very special place in my heart for Aries energy. My uh, my father that passed away from COVID in 2020, he's an Aries, was, was an Aries. And uh, yeah, so, and my oldest son has Aries rising. Uh, my, my cousin, which is like my brother, is an Aries as well. Oh, I have here codependency. First card out is codependency. So, um, and I have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. And the first thing that I got for some of you, not for all of you, you could be in a codependent relationship right now um, if you're in one. Okay. Um, so that's definitely something to be conscious and aware of uh, that addictions could be affecting your romantic life right now. You could be, you know, settling. Okay. Um, in, a, in a situation okay for others of you guys codependency you know is um, you sacrificing your needs to please others um, having a hard time setting boundaries things like that we have your engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this is also overcompensating so that you can feel validated and worthy um I have a relationship addiction struggle to be alone for some of you guys i have engagement your love life is ascending so engaging right with uh with someone doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a ring for some of you that could be the case this is you know whatever level your relationship was on um before it's going up an another level okay to the next next stage give me one more for aries again with the express your love Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And I am getting here that there is some healing. This is, you know, which explains the codependency energy here. There's some healing that needs to take place when it comes to your family. This is inner child healing. When I see the healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, I immediately get healing from abandonment wounds rejection wounds neglect if your emotional needs were met okay which leads to this energy here now in your adult relationships very important to focus on that um at this time okay so it could be that you're attracting in a relationship 
Uh, be open to receiving help from others as well. It could be that you're attracting in a relationship that is really challenging you here uh, to come out of your comfort zone. It's really uh, a relationship that's helping you to heal these things within you. Okay, that you don't have to be or do anything for this person to like you or, or you want to attract in people that um, are going to accept you and unconditionally love you. So you don't have to perform for them. Right. Or do the most. You can just be yourself. Um, I do feel here that. Uh, with the express your love here, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It feels like you want to say something to somebody. You want to express yourself. You want to, you know, um, reach out to somebody here and um, share how you feel. But it could be whatever codependency that, that's coming up for you could be the reason why there's a, a codependency comes from not feeling worthy. Okay, feeling there's, there could be some insecurities that could be coming up for you at this time as well. So um, listen to your intuition and follow your intuition when it comes to, you know, any action that you're being guided to take towards somebody special in your life. So there's, I believe that this uh, relationship, right, that you, that's ascending in your life is going to help with the healing, okay, your heart when it comes to, but again, you, we can always be the ones to sabotage if we don't become conscious and aware when our addictions, our codependencies, you know, um, our shadows are coming up to the surface, right? If you don't integrate your shadow, you'll end up dating it. Last shuffle for Aries, for Aries spirit. What else we got for Aries? There you are, Aries, <laughs> showing up strong in your energy right under codependency. Yeah, there is something you want to get off your chest that you want to talk to someone about um, that you want to express. Um, I do feel you are very much in your energy, feeling like a leader, uh, very powerful, very passionate, very creative, action oriented here, very ambitious, inspired, motivated. OK, um, again, but the king of wands can wear a mask as well especially with it under codependency here so are you being your true authentic self are you being true to yourself when it comes to this yeah exactly you're you're not in a um wow i feel like for some of you guys you could be there's that devil for some of you guys not all don't take this if it's not yours you could be in an unhappy situation you could be in an unhappy relationship right now that you're not getting your needs met your emotional needs met um i am getting here that you are potentially coming out of uh i feel like you're going through you may be going through an awakening at this time and it is guiding you towards like-minded people uh in the spiritual community and um soul substantial connections soul based connections here because I do see a 3D king here, you know, um, with the four of cups, this is a card of a missed opportunity from the past. Okay. There is a time, there is a, 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 a need for you to reflect right now to, to take a pause on the being on the go, go, go. And, uh, and, and sit down, maybe connect with nature under a tree or something with a with a book and a journal and re meditate and reflect here. OK, because we could be missing the point on something. OK, that's really important. There is an op op opportunity beckons here for you. Um, and maybe you're the one that wants to extend an offer to somebody, but you're afraid it's going to be rejected. OK, um, and that's where the codependency is coming in. I feel like you could be wanting to express some something to somebody. You could be wanting to engage, right? And um, you 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 could have some kind of uh, fears when it comes to criticism or rejection. Okay, um, I'm getting here that you're you're looking at you're look. There is a, a a feeling of not feeling satisfied in your life feeling bored and discontent, some apathy, you cannot be getting 
your emotional needs met. And um, but there is something here that is catching your attention. I'm getting that there is a, a cup that is a sacred cup, the divine cup. You may have missed out on this opportunity in the past. Okay, can I have one more? Let's find out more. Can I have one? More? Yeah, we have here the seven of wands in reverse. Okay, and the justice card needing to make some kind of a decision. Again, I like I said, being in your truth, speaking your truth, living your truth. Okay, justice card could be something legal. Again, you could be in an unhappy marriage for some of you guys. Uh, for others of you guys, uh, justice really is you operating from a place of integrity, morals and values, being honest with yourself, you know, making um, decisions that are heart based, that's true to you. Okay. With the seven of wands in reverse, this is really letting your guard down and opening up and expressing yourself, expressing your needs. Okay. Expressing your love, uh, or how you feel towards somebody and, um, vulnerability is strength, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. I'm getting that as well. It really can help you with a lot of your healing here. When it comes to that, I'm also getting here the need to set boundaries with people in your life, okay? And uh, not be uh, a people pleaser with the codependency and healing family issues. There could be a lot of possible family members that could be potentially in your business and um, you're needing to set boundaries with them. And that's going to help you to heal codependency a little more every time you do that. Uh, can you clarify this King of Wands? Let's get more to the story. Let's clarify this King of Wands for Aries. Yeah. I, 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like you are going through an awakening. And you're in the process of deciding right now. Of taking action on, on, on whether or not to leave a situation. Uh, could be a, 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 a relationship or a marriage or old way of being behind. Walking away from what's not emotionally fulfilling. You're not, wherever you are is not emotionally fulfilling. I feel like you have your eye on, an, on, an, on, on somebody, okay? I feel like you haven't, there's a cup, a sacred cup that you have your eye on i do feel like you're going through an awakening it is time for you to to take a sacred pause right now to go into the sacred pause so that you can see your situation from all angles right so you can get a different perspective regarding a situation that you're feeling stuck in because you're not really stuck you're not really stuck uh, you are being guided by the moon, by your intuition, by your emotions, by your passion, by your fire to walk away, to leave, to move on, move forward, go on a quest, go on a spiritual quest for some of you guys, a healing to start your healing journey. Um, I feel like you are, um, that's, that's what you're in your head about here. You're in, I feel like until you actually take the steps to leave a way of being behind, um, everything that's not emotionally fulfilling, that's not adding to your life, that's not adding to your growth, that's not um, soul-based, I heard, to leave it behind. I feel like there is um, some forgiveness that can help you to free you here. I feel like you could be in a situation where there is some conflict um, that you're not... Um, no one really wins in this situation that you're not seeing your situation here. Um, not backing down, I heard. Not backing down, not backing down. Not, you know, there could be some, I need to surrender here, okay? I need to surrender control. The, the five of the five of swords this is what you're being asked to walk away from and choose your battles wisely here when it comes to the people in your life okay you could there could be people here that you're around that's uh very reactive very controlling very manipulative that reacts from their wounded inner child again healing family issues here that your life your love life will benefit when you start doing your inner child healing work as well I feel like there is something here that you're heavily contemplating um, 
walking away from, okay? It's because you're going through an awakening and you're seeing things clearly regarding your situation and it's not, and you're not happy. It feels like you're not happy. It feels like you're in a codependent situation here, okay? That's what it feels like. It feels like you're in a, uh, could potentially be even in a hostile situation with somebody here that may be and it's time to make a decision to close out this cycle so your healing can start. You could be in a situation. Yeah, I'm getting you could just be feeling. Yeah, there's a tower moment. Oh, my God. It feels like you could be in a situation because of children. This is not going to be for everybody. It feels it's, it's sounding very pers like uh, specific here. Yeah, there's a cycle, a karmic cycle that needs to be closed out. And there's a calling to do that. And a lot of times it starts with stuff like this, right? With uh, the, the disagreements and the fighting and the arguing and the conflict and not seeing eye to eye. Got a lot of ga struggle issues with communication, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of manipulation, mind control. And uh, people here that wanting to win the argument at any cost doesn't matter who they hurt you know and uh, there's a calling here uh, from your angels it's guiding you guiding you to move on and forward from this okay so your healing can begin here listen to your intuition and follow it i feel like it's time to take the action steps towards it yeah making the plan eight of pentacles um I feel, okay, I feel for some of you guys, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be just trying to distract yourself here, not for all of you guys, uh, with work and other things here, so that we're not, you know, having to face these things that we need to face, okay? Um I do feel for some of you guys, there is a, um, yeah, there is the emperor needing to find the strength, the inner strength and courage. There is the emperor. There, there you are. <laughs> Aries energy there. Uh, Leo energy could be involved here as well. Um, but you have the inner strength and the courage here. Okay. To, to, um, create the life that you want to create for yourself and not settle. I have here four of cups, kind of a settling energy, not settle, you know, um, in your life at all. You have the ability here. I do feel like you're focused on something right now. I, I feel like you could potentially be getting some kind of recognition, uh, at work, uh, with, with whatever it is that you're doing in your work life okay i do feel here that there is some resistance energy here you're needing to muster up the strength the inner strength and courage okay um i do feel like something really uh something has your attention okay i do feel that you somebody or some i said somebody okay that's not an accident somebody or something has your attention i do feel like um you could be watching some, some learning something or watching something that is waking you up spiritually here okay i have uh, the star card it could be um connected to an aquarius or or you know of an aquarius i do feel like this is this is a connection here i i, if, I don't know it feels like it's 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 new this is a connection here that you can work with collaborate with build with create with that's very magical and very mystical and very healing for you i feel like this cup coming from god coming from the sky um is is going to help towards your healing when it comes to child inner child healing as well okay i feel like you are in the really considering coming out of one situation here moving into a new one a codependent situation i feel like you have your eye on somebody here that is inspiring you perhaps that's giving you hope making you feel like you have hope and faith in 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 the journey and what's to come 
for you. And I do feel like their plan is in motion, but the energy is in motion regarding because we manifest from our emotions. And when we're sitting here daydreaming, fantasizing and meditating on what, what, you know, um, what we wish we could have and what we want, right? It creates, a. Uh, it's like the, the, that's what the universe receives. Okay. The universe, you're telling the universe that you're not happy. And the universe is trying to bring in for you or trying to guide you, trying to guide you towards your destined path, towards your North star, towards your, where you're meant to go, where you're meant to be. Okay. I do feel like something or someone is intriguing you. There is some kind of an awakening or a recognition, especially with the star here. The star is the awakener, the healer. So there is a, a, a renewal Tell me, give me one on this Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. There is a very strong, I feel a very strong temptation here. It's like you're, t you're, you're being tempted to take inspired action. I feel like you're learning a lot. You're mastering yourself. You're mastering something here, okay? And um, it's, it, I feel it's very tempting for you. There's a lot of passion and a lot of desire, but I do feel like, and that's the pull. That's the guidance. I'm getting that strongly, but there is a waiting period here. Yeah, that's the pull. That's the guidance here. We have the lovers. So this is a divine sacred connection here that you being pulled to by your intuition, your intuition, King of Cups. There's a lot of deep emotions here. I feel it's secret. I feel it's hidden. I don't feel like you have expressed this yet. That's why I express your love is here. Um, you haven't made the romantic gesture, but I do feel like there is some kind of strong telepathy dreams, even in the dream state, your, your inner knowing is guiding you. But for some reason, there is a waiting period. I feel like you want something or someone really badly. But I feel like right now you're just daydreaming and fantasizing and watching them from a distance. You or somebody in your energy, please feel free to reverse the roles. This could be some, you could be a feminine because I'm picking up on a masculine energy here. You could be a feminine that's in your masculine energy, or you could be a feminine and there's a masculine energy here that is, um, want, you know, that could be wanting to leave a situation behind or a way of being and um or a lifestyle or something here that they're not happy in and they're feeling very inspired here it's like i'm loving you i i want to i want to clarify i want to get i want to get a message from this i want to get some more details on this king of wands what does this king of wands want to say What does this King of Wands want to say? I feel like this King of Wands may be stuck in a codependent situation that they want to get out of. They're feeling very inspired to. But the thing with the Knight of Wands is... Um, the thing with the Knight of Wands is the Knight of Wands is not very... We're needing to ground this, whatever. The, I also feel... This is a love reading. But I'm feeling... I'm getting pulled to like something to do with career and purpose as well taking action steps towards I feel like whatever it is that you're learning here is really lighting up the, the fire within you your solar plexus your soul your soul's purpose I still feel you're very much in this learning stage of gathering information and mastering something spirits they keep going the thing with the knight of wands is the knight of wands can be very flighty not very grounded not very consistent Okay, and um, it's somebody that just really likes to have a lot of fun in it for a good time, not a long time. And Spirit is saying, don't um, be impulsive right now. Just let yourself, you know, um, stick to it. Whatever it is that you could stay committed, you know, whatever it is that you are focused on here. Sometimes we get restless when we're bored. 
right? Whatever it is that you're focused on here, somebody, something caught your attention and is keeping your attention to be devoted, stay devoted, stay devoted, stay the course. This is a card of patience, dedication. It's like somebody here is uh, paying attention to every detail of something and learning a lot. There's a lot of books there. This is somebody that's very skilled at what they do and is a master at it, a professional at becoming a professional at it. But it's like we're needing to continue with this. It's putting the time, energy, and effort. Stay dedicated, stay committed, stay devoted to this, whatever you're working on here. Can you please, um, what does this King of Wands want to say? For Aries, Aries, what does this King of Wands want to say? Don't lose hope for us. We've been through tough times together. That will always fight for us. They could be watching somebody. This 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 king could be watching. You could be thinking about leaving this king behind or walking away. This king could be watching you do that. Yeah, so there's somebody here. Then I say somebody is focused on their career, not to look at the things that they need to look at. I'm focused on my career and finances right now because I don't want to struggle again and I'm afraid to share there. Look, my childhood was difficult. It still affects me, healing family issues. So this person could be projecting. I was let down by the people that I loved and trusted. Right, didn't I say, I'm settling for the life I thought I wanted, but it's empty. Without you, I still fantasize about you. Didn't I say, there's somebody here that is fantasizing about somebody from their past that they were that they missed an opportunity with okay um but again they're trying to distract themselves with other things so they're not thinking about it because that's exactly what i picked up on yeah so this person had a a rough childhood that they need to they've been let down by people a lot the thing they're going this person is going through some kind of an awakening okay and they need to focus on choosing their happiness and i feel like we saw that star card somebody is getting inspired um to not settle to choose to choose better for themselves yeah right here to follow their intuition and follow their heart so this person is is settling possibly because of chill yeah they're settling in a marriage possible or some for some of you guys that's the case or a long-term commitment because of children clarify the okay wow i was about to say clarify the the seven of wands in reverse and that's somebody lowering their guard and allowing themselves to be vulnerable express your love sharing how you feel to the person that you have on your mind here right express your love yeah so yeah there is there's somebody here that's more of a match to this person there you are again there yeah they're miserable in this in their life that there there is some kind of a third party situation um this that that, that this relationship yeah some this is like this relationship here is there this person's life and this relationship is in the process of going through a major turning point, a major change. There's a major change in someone's life right now because they're going through some kind of an awakening. But yeah, there's a cup. There you are. Again, if you're the feminine, there's a cup that's coming from the sky that this person can't keep their eyes off, off of. Okay. But again, there is conflict here. There's challenges. There's obstacles in the way, right? That's why it's important to just trust the universe. A lot of, a lot of, so this person's feelings, this masculine's energy's feelings have been ignited, right? It's like right now, all they can do is fantasize about you and their awakening is letting them know that they're not happy where they are and they're needing to move on. Can I have one of this King of Cups? Lowering their guard, releasing their fear of, of rejection. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. They have a lot of feelings for a feminine energy. You or somebody in your energy has a lot of feelings for this feminine energy here. Is them somebody that they they see? If you're the feminine energy, this masculine sees your worth, your value here. They're watching you from a distance. 
They're watching you from a distance, right? This is what they see. They see you enjoying your life fully, having a very abundant life, a luxurious life, right? They uh, see, you know, uh, you loving on yourself if you're the feminine energy. This is somebody that's single, that's independent, that is um, self-assured, that um, is in the law of attraction energy of enjoying your life fully to the fullest. This is somebody that, you know, this is somebody that sees your worth and your value here. Watching you. Watching you. I'm getting that energy. Watching you from a distance. Um, can you please clarify this king of wands for Aries? You could have another person if you're the feminine energy. That, you know, there's two kings here. I can't ignore that. But I'm really am seeing this this king of wands that it starts with the fire, right? Being lit in our in our in our bellies, under our butts, in our under our feet that gets us going, that gets us moving, you know. But it is our love, our deep love and our intuition that feelings that could be coming up for somebody, you know, that they perhaps may have buried or they didn't know that they had, or they could be rekindled. Tell me about this king of wands for Aries. Yeah, so this is somebody that you're not together with. Um, missing you, thinking about you and yearning, unsure of the future, right? But they're trying to keep a positive mindset. I guess it's because they're waking up and they understand how important it is to be positive, positive. Right, matter to matter so that they can manifest exactly what they want with the with the vibration of abundance and gratitude. Again, clock needs time, takes time, cycles time to heal and progress. So, a lot of um, you know, um, I, I'm, I heard a lot of hope, a lot of hope. So the second that this person follows their intuition and they leave their unhappy life, doors of opportunities, abundance uh, will start opening up for this person. Okay. Um, instead of them just sitting there bored, discontent, you know, feeling emotionally empty and uh, not getting their emotional needs met. And um, they can... Uh, you know go after their bliss go after their happiness in the second that they leave a situation that could be potentially putting them in lack consciousness doors of opportunity is going to start opening up i do feel like they're getting they might be getting ready to express themselves soon okay with the express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture uh can i have one more on this king of wands Cassette. Yeah, this is a runner. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, playing events over again in their heads. That's what's keeping them stuck here. And the hanged man. And hanged man is Neptune energy, Pisces energy for illusions. Okay. Needing to see their situation from a different perspective and when they do get this light bulb moment when they do get this perspective shift and this awakening then they when they do see that they are enough that they are good enough um then and then at that time they're able to take action king of wands towards you know the where the life that they want to live instead of settling for the life they thought that they wanted okay um and and it's and focusing mostly on not thinking about it, trying not to think about it, trying to bury it, right? But this is somebody here that's not happy where they are and wants out. Let me get um guidance for you regarding this. And then we will wrap. Spirit, one message here. What guidance do you have for Aries? What guidance do you have for Aries? When it comes to love, only time will tell. What else? Only time will tell. Look inside yourself. 
and examine what is causing you to feel this way. I did say it's time for a sacred pause or to sit, to sit under a tree with a journal, go within instead of being always on the go, instead of, you know, trying to distract yourself, um, putting yourself, you know, figure. <laughs> I, I don't know, maybe distracting yourself with the internet or distracting yourself with work. It's time to look at it's time to look at this unhappiness that you're in. What else? So yeah, there could be, you know, this is what I feel is is the thing here. We saw the five of swords. Um, try to work on releasing judgment. Um, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship with magically transform. Yeah. We have when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So it's like, you know, I normally don't get this message with this with this message, which is time is too precious to waste on settling, right? If um, this is a past life relationship also that you're talking about here, I do feel that somebody has feelings for you or you have feelings for somebody that's not expressed. And it's like the the memories that you have shared, it, it's like it's important to live your life making memories choosing happiness choosing abundance choosing love what guidance do you have for aries when it comes to love what guidance do you have for aries when it comes to love forgiveness forgiving yourself or another did i say past life connection um, this is all past life stuff that's coming up that you're meant to clear. And it's interesting because I'm not seeing a lot of major arcanas here except for the hanging man. Which means that the set, the major arcanas is major life changes um, that's taking place. That's destined and fate to take place for you right now. With the hanging man, I am seeing that once we get this awakening, this perspective shift, then everything is going to change for you for the better. Okay? So... Take a sacred pause to go within. There's a lot of action energy, a lot of doing. And um, we need to go into stillness, silence, stillness, and meditation to dive deep. Dig, 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 right? To go within, do the, self, the soul searching, the self-reflection, the introspection, you know, the shadow work here. So that uh, you can um, really go within and see what it what whatever it is that you want for yourself uh, forgiving yourself i saw that judgment card that's what's going to free you emotionally from whatever i feel like somebody just doesn't feel very emotionally fulfilled within themselves that's what codependency is here seeking it outside of themselves um forgiving yourself or another will help you to move forward what else and the spiritual connection that you have with somebody that's guiding you we have your twin flame that wanted to flip. What else here for Aries? True love. This this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So you have a true love connection or potential for one um, with somebody that that um, you are probably not with here. Okay, and someone feels regret and remorse for the way they treated you in the past. Four of cups and patience. Everything will unfold as it should in divine timing. And I did see a message here about vulnerability. Expressing yourself. Or this masculine wanting to express themselves and be vulnerable towards somebody. Okay. And a decision needs to be made. Regarding your life. The settling the life that you're in. It's time to make a decision about this relationship you're in right now and have patience with your process this is your message i love you guys um if this resonated note your comments below um hope this helped hope that this gave you the clarity the understanding the healing the insight and the gentle reassurance confirmation validation you are seeking and uh if you guys would like 
more of a personal reading, your my information to schedule a reading with me will be in the description box below on my website. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for and for subscribing. I'm going to be doing the all all the signs going forward. So, um, I'll check I'll check in with you guys next time. I love you all. God bless you and Namaste. Much love.